Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at what I consider the most versatile and best options in off-grid shower systems on the market today. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're gonna to look at what I consider one of the most versatile and best options there are on the market for off-grid shower systems. So after much research, I uh, found this company that I thought had the best product. Uh, you may remember back a few years ago, I did a DIY video of how to build your own uh, portable little shower system. That one has worked fine for us, but I wanted something a little more versatile a little more dedicated for the purpose of having portable water uh, for showering, washing off, uh, doing dishes, things like that, uh, for camping, overlanding, what have you. So uh, after much research, I found a company called Waterport, and that's W-A-T-E-R-P-O-R-T, -E and I'll put in the section below down there where you can find all the information uh, about the company. So you're looking at a retail of around $200, it's $199 including shipping, uh, but there's one option which I used and you can buy it on Costco's website for $169 and I think that does include shipping, but uh, if you're not a member of Costco but you have one nearby, it would be worth you buying the membership online. I think you can buy it for like $40 and then buy the water port through their website and then that way you basically get a free membership for the same amount of money you would spend on buying just the water port itself. So let's take a look at the system and what it's all about. Take this down. So what you're looking at here guys is a, it's, it's made of heavy duty plastic and this thing is like crazy heavy duty. I mean you can tell it's great quality, it's very thick and uh, durable. So they've had a couple iterations of this uh, over the last few years. This is their latest version uh, and they've made a few changes and some upgrades to their system. One of the things they've did is had this molded in handle uh, built into the uh, uh, unit itself, which I really like. That's uh, one of the reasons that I think it's more versatile than a lot of systems out there is because it does have the carry handle uh, in the center where it's balanced and you can move it around camp as you need to. Um, another thing they did, at one time they just had a uh, cap that you just unscrewed to pour in your water. Now they've actually added a pump system similar to the ones you see on like the garden hose, I mean the uh, garden sprayers to be able to manually pump it uh, without any other uh, tools or anything required. So another option to pressurize the system is a Schrader valve. So if you've got a onboard air, anything on your uh, off-road rig, overlanding rig, uh, you can do it by this or a bike pump, something like that. Uh, also, you can do it manually. You can fill the system and pressurize it at the same time utilizing your garden hose at home. So uh, that's another option. So you got three options to pressurize the system. And like I said, you can just take the cap off, pour your water in. Uh, if you're at camp and you've got jerry cans of water or you're near a stream or something, just make sure you're taking any sediment out uh, and not get that into the system itself. So again, very heavy duty uh, plastic construction. The other thing that it, they've uh, got into the system that's a safety mechanism is a pressure relief valve. So that's uh, important, so you don't overpressurize your system and cause any you know, harm that way. But uh, they've got a lot of different mounting options for this that is included in the kit that you buy from Costco. And here's where the basic mounting system starts, uh, is attached to the unit itself. Then you get a lot of accessories and things with it that's included with the kit. You get a neoprene cover that I don't have attached on mine. I don't know that I'll use it, but they, uh, for the Costco version, you only get the black. On their website, they do have a camouflage version if you wanted that. So they have a camouflage neoprene cover as well as a black. This right here, what you're looking at, these two items here is for a receiver hitch uh, setup if you wanted to attach it to your receiver hitch. Also comes with this quick disconnect. This right here is how you would hook it up to your garden hose and pressurize and fill your system with that. 
also comes with some instructions, a sticker, uh, some things like that. Uh, along with it, you also get a bunch of little bolts and nuts and attachments and an Allen wrench. Uh, to be able to use that when you're figuring out how you want to mount it itself comes with their uh, logoed uh, padlock here this is a combination lock and then you have a um, an attachment to allow you to go hands-free with your hose itself and be able to mount your uh, sprayer uh, this lock here will tell you it is uh, you set your own combination it gives you instructions how to do that so you can set it to whatever number you like they also include all your quick disconnect uh, setups for the hose and everything. The hose is six foot long. The actual unit itself holds around four gallons. It's like 3.8, 3.9 gallons of water. So you get almost four gallons of water into the system itself. And then it comes with a uh, garden hose style sprayer that's got different options as far as a soaker, a cone shape, flat, uh, stream, all that stuff uh, right there in that. So, again, quick disconnect type setup. Show you how that works. Simply just push it in and it snaps into place. Then you have this little relief valve here that you'll need to turn on. And you can actually hear the water come into the hose itself. So, let's take a look at what the sprayer looks like. So, there's your shower. And then you can go, let's say I wanted to, and when I say this thing is versatile, what I mean by that is uh, it, um, let's say for instance you're out uh, four wheeling and you um, get mud all over your windshield and you need to clean that up. Well, this right here allows you to have enough pressure to be able to do that. So if you look, I mean, I'm squirting at probably 30 some feet. So it, it's been, you're able to get a lot of pressure into the system and uh, get uh, be able to uh, use it that way. It also comes with this accessory bang to be able to put your hose and things in. I'll show you how this little item here works. So you have these little attachment points and you can move those from here to here, uh, but essentially it just slides down like that. And then you have a way to mount this and go hands-free like that. And then you just simply turn it on and lock it in place and then you can go hands-free like that. So I'll probably um, use this just to hang it uh, at camp to be able to get the hose up out of the way. Um, or you can use it again to create a hands-free uh, shower setup. Just like that. So I've actually ordered an extra one of these on their website. They're like four bucks. And I also bought another cap. So they have a regular cap that doesn't have this um, and they're like four bucks. So I thought if there's a weakness in the system where you might have an issue with something, um, you know, breaking or whatever, getting damaged, uh, it would be the cap. So for four bucks, I went ahead and just bought another one. And so I don't have to worry about it uh, that way. But in my opinion, this right here is a great option. I'm gonna show you how I mounted mine. So, they have a few different ways to mount this. Again, we discussed already the uh, idea of putting it on the receiver hitch. Let's see if I can get the camera the best angle here for you. So if you look up there, I have put their mounting system. And the way this works, it coincides with this and that up there. So let's take a look. So there you go. And that padlock, there's a little piece up there that you are able to padlock that into place. So that's how that works. But in my opinion, this right here is one of the best versatile systems on the market today. 
it uh, you can use heated water don't use past I think it's 120 degrees um, but also uh, you can put this out in the Sun and because it's black it's going to absorb that heat and be able to heat the water that way if you want cold water for later you can pack this thing that's the hole is big enough I think it's three inches uh, is big enough you could pack it down with some ice and uh, probably at least for a couple hours uh, keep that water uh, pretty ice cold and then it'll start heating up over time but for two or three hours you should be able to have uh, some colder water uh, if you desire to have that but anyway guys in my opinion one of the best systems around uh, as far as versatility and uh, I'm really happy with it so I'm going to be able to get a lot of use for it use out of it uh, you know hopefully at the beach and camping and things like that I think it'll be a, a great addition to our setup here but anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you got any questions, post those below. If you got any experience with the water port, uh, be sure to share that with us. That'd be grateful and uh, helpful. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.